but the Arabs and the Muslims have been conducting themselves this way for the past, well, 1,400 years, basically since Islam was invented 1,400 years ago. They replaced the, the Dean, Egyptians. I, I've, I've I've just got to say this, I, I do, th and I believe it passionately, I don't think we should cast every Arab, every Muslim as Hamas. I just don't. There's been hostility, of course there has, history's shown that, um, but we, we, can't, we can't do that because I think it is unfair. Well, it's not really unfair, to be honest. When you look, for instance, at North Africa, they replaced the original, the indigenous people of North Africa, and now every single arab and muslim there actually are threatening those uh, indigenous people let's take a call from nikki hello hello hi <laughs> thank hi. you for calling um i just wanted to um perhaps sort of educate a few people that really don't understand the issue going on between hamas and israel far um, away in the fact that um, back in 2006, Hamas won the election uh, in Gaza. That was after that, Israel withdrew that's from, from right. there. Yep. Yeah, yep. and there was only 30% turnout, yep. um, which would lead you to believe that probably most people were frightened of voting, um, Hamas being the terrorist organisation that they are. Mm, mm. Um, the... the and that's what people don't understand, is that Palestine, Palestinians are being held to count so much by Hamas. I mean, this thing with them moving south and being, they're being told to stay where they are, they're probably too frightened of Hamas and, to and, move and south. They are, they are, and many of them are being uh, restricted from moving. You're absolutely right. And Hamas and used them as shields. Exactly. I mean, I'm Jewish myself. I live in Norfolk, so I've really got no fear of sort of anything happening around here. Um, but I do feel sorry for people in and around London and places like that because... Everybody is casting such aspersions on Israel and Israel being the... I, mean, I don't agree with Israel on a lot of things, but in this case, I do. What, what happened there was just atrocious. This is the problem, and, and I've seen it in some calls today from people who find mm -hmm. it impossible to condemn what happened, is, yeah. is that they effectively um, uh, cannot bring themselves to do that, because everything that comes out of Israel is bad, including exactly. Jews. Exactly. And, and it's terrible, really, because when I've been to Israel, I've been to Israel a couple of times, and Jews live next to Arabs and Muslims. 1.6 million um, Arabs live there and coexist exactly. quite pe peacefully is, with equal rights. And the thing is, what people don't also realise is going back before 2006, perhaps even before 2005, is, is Gaza was annexed, not mm. just by Israel, but also by Egypt. Oh, thank you for saying that, because I, I was talking about this yesterday, and lots of people aren't aware of this. They, they're exactly. not opening the border. Um, and Egypt doesn't want anything to do with Hamas. No, no. And that's what people don't understand, is that this is a terrorist organisation. I mean, you could have turned around and said, I mean, you, took, you go back to Northern Ireland. What would we have done if Northern Ireland had been, uh, been voted, you know, had the IRA voted in before, uh, before the peace happened? We probably would have done the same thing, gone in there and, you know, taken the IRA. Well, out. actually, I'd say there's a slight difference because actually Gaza is a state. Now, as you pointed out, they elected Hamas. They are a state sponsored terror effectively that's what we saw on saturday uh, northern ireland of course was part of of great britain yeah, um, yeah. so it's, no, it's slightly different but let me just analogy, read something <laughs> let me read so, uh, 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 read something to you because it's very interesting it's the beginning of a text from someone i don't think they've blessed their name i cannot read the whole thing out it would take half an hour but it begins like this if israel ukraine and taiwan have the right to defend themselves you can't, why can't the Palestinians have the same right to defend themselves? This, this is extraordinary that some people are seeing the action on Saturday where these people were murdered, including kids and babies, as defensive, as freedom fighters, yeah. as resistance. It's, you know, whatever your views on Palestine, 
and and believe me, I'm I'm you know I'm not a great friend of the Israeli policy, uh, particularly on the settlements. Whatever your view, like you can choice. condemn what happened. Agree with them. Yeah, you can condemn what happened for what it is. Are we now so divided and utterly lost humanity? We can't condemn it. Well, I mean, the fact that the police are doing standing by and doing nothing about people. Well, we have had an explanation supporting. of that, and we have, and yeah, you may know, not have heard it. I know, but I think if, if they were seen to be doing something... That's the ch problem, isn't it? That it, is the problem. Maybe people would stop mm. and, and and actually go, hang on a minute, we're being serious here. Are they... And then start looking at why we, we call them terrorists. And that's the problem. People are not looking at why we're calling them terrorists. I mean, the other thing is, is the, per the pe person who heads Hamas lives in Qatar. Yes, indeed. Dean, hello. Oh, hello, yes. Uh, I really just want to basically give my support to um, uh, the Jewish people. Obviously, thousands of them were killed by these uh, terrorists from Hamas. But I also believe that uh, the media in the UK are actually learning themselves. They're lying to themselves because, I'm so sorry to say this, but the Arabs and the Muslims have been conducting themselves this way for the past, well, 1,400 years, basically since Islam was invented 1,400 years ago. They replaced the, the Dean, Egyptians. Dean, I've, 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 I've just got to say this, I, I do th and I believe it passionately, I don't think we should cast every Arab, every Muslim as Hamas. I just don't. There's been hostility, of course there has. History's shown that, um, but we, we can't we can't do that because I think it is unfair. Well, it's not really unfair to be honest. When you look, for instance, at North Africa, they replaced the original, the indigenous people of North Africa, and now every single Arab and Muslim there actually are threatening those uh, indigenous people. They do hate. Uh, so you either Look, succumb to is there that, persecution of Christians and, and, and going on in, in Africa and places like that? Absolutely. Is it shocking? It is. And we've seen it in the Middle East as well. But look, there's, there's 1.6 million um, Arabs who live in Israel and, get, and live and coexist perfectly peaceably, enjoying the same rights uh, as Jewish citizens. I don't think we can kind of say it's in the DNA of Arabs and Muslims to be behave like Hamas. I, I just don't. I was, look, thank you for your view, Dean. Okay. It'll provoke talking points and it, it, will, it will get other people talking. But I, I just can't really accept that argument.